Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. This is the second part of the Laravel contact form tutorial. So, if you haven't watched that video, click on the i button and watch that video first and then come back to watch this video. In the first part, we learned how to send an email using Gmail in the Laravel contact form. However, there is a small issue. Let me show you. In the contact form, enter name, email and message and click on the send button. Watch here. You can see that it takes 5 to 10 seconds to send the email, which is not a good user experience. Open your Gmail inbox, and you can see that the email has been received in our Gmail inbox. Now, to fix this issue we will use a Laravel feature called Q. Laravel Q is a feature in Laravel that provides a simple and consistent way to defer the processing of time-consuming tasks such as sending emails, processing images, or performing other background tasks. Instead of making your users wait for these tasks to finish, Laravel Q lets you add these tasks to a queue, a waiting line, and handle them in the background. In Google, type Laravel Q and press Enter. Click on this link. Here you can see that, in order to use the database queue driver, we will need a database table to hold the jobs. To generate a migration that creates this table, we need to run the php artisan queue table command, and then we need to migrate the database. Copy this command. Open a new terminal and paste the command. Now, type php artisan migrate command to migrate the database. Now, in your browser open phpMyAdmin and check the database. You can see that jobs table has been created. Copy this. Paste this in queue connection. Scroll down. Here, you can see the command to generate the job class. In your terminal, type php artisan make colon job contact us job and press enter. This command will generate contact us job class inside app slash jobs directory. Open contact us job class. Here, type protected dollar data. Here, pass dollar data. Now in the construct method, type dollar this data equals dollar data. In handle method, type dollar mailable equals new contact us, make sure to import contact us mail class. Pass dollar this data in parenthesis. Now, type mail colon colon to, in parentheses type recipient mail at gmail.com in single quotes, pass dollar mailable in the send method.
Now, we need to import the male facade. Open contact controller. Comment this code. Type dollar job equals in parentheses new contact us job, then pass dollar data in parentheses. Now type dispatch in parentheses pass dollar job. Make sure to import contact us job class. Now, in your terminal type php artisan q colon work command. This command is used to start a worker that will process jobs from the queue. Reload the page. You can see that currently, the jobs table is empty. However, when we send the email, you will observe data inside the table. Now, type name, email and message and click on the send button to send the email. Now you can see that the success message is displayed instantly. Reload the page and you will see some data inside the jobs table. In your terminal, you can see that the status of job is running. Now, the status of the job is changed to done. It means that the mail has been sent in the background. Reload the page and you will notice that once the job status changes, the jobs table becomes empty. Now, open your Gmail inbox and you will see the mail which you have sent recently. Click on this icon to refresh the page. You can see that the mail has been received. Reload the page. Let's send an email one more time. Now, type name, email and message and click on the send button to send the email. Now you can see that the success message is displayed instantly. Reload the page and you will see some data inside the jobs table. Now, the status of the job is changed to done. It means that the mail has been sent in the background. You can see that the mail has been received, which we have sent recently. Now, let's store the messages inside the database. Open a terminal and type the command php artisan make colon model message dash m. This command will create a message model and messages migration file. Now, open messages migration file and add name, email and message column names. Now, in your terminal type php artisan migrate command to migrate the database.
open message model and add fill able properties. Now, open contact controller. Here, after the validation, type message colon colon create, in parentheses pass dollar data to store the data inside messages table. Make sure to import message model. Open PHP My Admin and reload the page. You can see the messages table has been created. Now, reload the contact page. Type name, email, message and click on the send button. This time all the data will be saved inside messages table and mail will also be sent. You can see that success message is displayed. You can see that the status of the job has been changed from running to done. Now, open your Gmail inbox and you will see the mail, which we have sent recently. Now, open the messages table in your database and you will see name, email and message have been saved in the table. In your terminal, type php artisan make colon controller message controller. This command will create message controller, which will be used to display all the messages. Now open message controller. In the index method type dollar messages equals message colon colon all, which will be used to display the messages, make sure to import message model. Type return view, in parentheses, type messages.index, pass messages variable inside compact function. In the views folder, create messages folder and create index.blade.php file inside this folder. First, let's create a layout file using the component. In your terminal, type php artisan make colon component app layout and press enter. This command will generate app layout component inside app slash view slash components folder and app dash component dot blade dot php file inside resources slash view slash components folder. Open app layout file and remove component dot app component and add layouts dot app inside the parentheses. Delete Components folder. Create Layouts folder inside Views folder. Now, create app.blade.php file in the Layouts folder. Now add this code inside app.blade.php file.
Now in the index.blade.php file, type x-app-layout and inside it, type h3 class equals text amber 500. Type messages in h3 tag and close the x-app layout to check if this layout is working or not. Now, open web.php file and add a root to display the messages. Don't forget to import message controller. Now, in your browser type localhost colon 8000 slash messages and you can see messages text with amber color. It means that the layout is working. Now, in the index blade file, add a table to display name, email and message. Now use for else loop to loop the data. Here, we display the name, email, and message. If there is no message in the database, it will display no messages found. Reload the messages page and you can see one message with name and email, which was stored in the database. Now to add app layout open contact.blade.php file. Remove this code and add x app layout. Remove closing HTML and body tag and add closing x app layout. Reload the contact page and you can see we don't see any error. Now, to store the data inside messages table type name, email, message and click on the send button. The data will be stored in the messages table and the mail will be sent in the background. You can see the success message. Now reload the messages page and you will see the new message with name and email. The status of the job has been changed. Now open your Gmail inbox and you will see the mail, which we have sent recently. Here is the mail with name, email and message, which we have sent recently. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in next tutorial, till then stay safe.